Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create five different natural landscape features. So, they're only major landscape features. I'm not going to be covering like hills and stuff like that. So, these two are both going to be mountains. Um, this is going to be a curved top mountain with a cliff off the side. This one's going to be a plateau. I'm going to be making a river right through here. I'll be creating a canyon over here. And then some sort of glacier, ice spikes sort of biome over here. So I'm going to just create these now. Um, I'm going to record it all and speed it up so you guys can see what it looks like. And hope you guys enjoy.
Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for the building part. Um, as you can see, I've created, uh, actually, I mean, I forgot to put on the materials, so we'll just bake global. Come on, bake global. Oh, okay. There we go. So, as you guys can see, um, that didn't really bake properly. Whatever. Um, so yeah, we've got our formations here. Um, I'm going to start with uh, the river, actually. Because that is the one I started with. Okay, so I made this with river in two sections. Uh, there's this section over here, which is a lot steeper, and then this section. And there's really only one difference between how I did that. Um, this one over here, I just used uh, the lower key, and I had it on a pretty wide setting, and I pretty much and a high strength as well. I pretty much just lowered it down into the ground so if you can see I mean it's kind of, it's really kind of hard to see but it's it's pretty deep down here there's a long distance to the top and as you can see it's steep enough that you've got the the dirt coming on the sides so I mean there's one type over here um, I sort of transitioned into the other type I actually smoothed it out and then over here we've got a low pretty flat river here let's get right there there's a, like a nice section where you can see the ground. So as you can see, it's pretty shallow, you know, but the, and the sides are really, really gently sloped. And so this is pretty, pretty nice actually, because it's just, it's meant for a wider river, I guess. And so all I did here was I lowered it down as well. Actually, I flattened it. So what I did is I took the flatten tool. I chose a height that was um, just lower than this top area here and this is actually 50 or 49 so I chose something like 30 and I actually made it pretty wide I made it about as wide as over here and then I just smoothed it down I used a smooth tool on like the highest strength and I smoothed this whole area down and pretty much what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring the bottom up if it was too deep it's also gonna smooth out the shoreline and it's actually gonna make the river a little bit narrower so as you're doing this probably build it a little wider than it needs to be and then over here I don't know this just sort of happened naturally but it, it looks good it looks good so you got like sort of the banks over here steeper banks for the river so yeah that's pretty much the river um, over here we've got this mountain um, my main strategy for this is I just chose a really big brush and I used the raise tool and I initially just placed down a big blob of what I wanted it to look like just the general shape after that I made the size a little larger uh, a little smaller actually and I decided which part points do I want to be the highest now over here I accidentally made a plateau pretty much a plateau is anything that is flat on top on top of a mountain and that is because I ran out of room this is actually the height limit right here so obviously if I wanted to make it rounded on the top I would have had to build it lower but uh, yeah so pretty much I decided that I want the highest point to be right over here and I wanted everything to be lower and I would have a secondary peak over here as well and so pretty much I just sort of started outlining the the sub points of this uh, mountain then I chose an even smaller size brush something like that and I made a bunch of smaller bumps everywhere and that's pretty much just to make it realistic I guess give it some other texture and keep it from being completely smooth now of course as you build your um, mountain you should probably include some natural rock objects there are uh, objects I think they're called boulders yes they're called boulders and so these are just to make it more natural I would add some of these three all throughout and I think these ones here actually have iron ore that spawn on them naturally and it is kind of randomly as well this one's more of a platform you gotta sort of match it to the slope something like that yeah so I would definitely pepper your mountain with that sort of thing as well um, this is the cliff I was talking about the way I created that was I pretty much uh, used the flatten tool so I chose, I also used a really small brush, so I chose the height of this place down here and I just flattened it with the highest strength and pretty much that's just going to be 
that's going to create the straightest line possible. And then pretty much I, f I actually flattened out this entire area right here and then I just smoothed it a bit to sort of blend it in to the environment. So you know we've got the steepest part here but then I smoothed the other areas around it just to keep it looking a little natural. So over here we've got our second type of mountain. Um, this is supposed to be a plateau and pretty much what I did here is I used the uh, flatten tool as well and I pretty much just chose I think it was 60 or 70 I think maybe 80 I chose 80 out of 100 and I just drew in a general huge circle after that I also chose flatten again but I chose the level of the, the ground down here which was dot 50 and then I sort of outlined what I wanted the shape to look like and I tried to make the shape as natural as possible of course that's not always possible but you can always try and you know it's nobody's gonna really see it from this view so from this view maybe it doesn't look very natural but when they're playing on it it'll feel natural over here um, I created a nice slope for an easy way to get up there probably with a car or by foot and I just used the smooth tool on the highest strength with a pretty large brush not super large maybe oh, made it a little small maybe something like that and I just smoothed it down I also used the smooth brush um, here and here just to sort of smooth it out and make it look natural the entire mountain can't be this steep as you guys can see um, what starts happening I'm gonna make that small to get it out of the way if you start making it super steep you start getting like these weird bumps right here and it's possible you want that but in some cases they don't look the most natural and so all you need to do is just put a little smooth tool over that and it'll smooth out those bumps make your mountain look a little more natural and of course I left the top flat but I did put some other I mean mostly flat I did put some other ridges on the top as well just to make it a little more interesting so over here we have the canyon um, I actually will paint that sand let's see let's put that as sand um, it could also be dirt and grass as well though um, I was going for the Grand Canyon sort of look so as we paint this sand you guys can definitely see right away if you imagine that you're in a desert and yeah you're in a Grand Canyon so pretty much you got like super steep side sides really flat tops and really large pieces pretty randomly shaped as well so pretty much what I did is I used the flatten tool and I just chose an intermediate height of whatever how high I wanted it to be and pretty much covered in this entire area and then cut out the pathways I wanted in between also using the flatten tool. Um, something else you could do just thought of this is you could put some other bits of texture on the top of these they don't have to be perfectly flat oh gosh it's a little too strong uh, definitely maybe not super strong but yeah, you can actually put some texture on top of these and you can put some texture down below on the ground because in real life they're not really going to be super flat or anything. But yeah, you can definitely just put little bits here and there just to just to make it your own style however you want it. You could also smooth out the edges a bit. And that was actually that is actually a good idea if you want people to be able to get up there with uh, edges this steep. I don't I, I know you can get up there it would just take a really really long time so unless you put some sort of natural ob object like a bridge or something that will lead up to the top of these mountains or maybe a helipad landing pad something on the top it'll be hard to get up there so maybe you don't want them to but you know you should always give them away if you do over here we've got these ice spikes um, what I called glaciers I don't know this sort of came to my mind as I was thinking about what to do in this video um, this is actually just a really cool biome um, sort of based off of the minecraft ice spike all you need to do to make that is put your uh, brush on the very smallest size and pretty much this is just gonna move one point at a time you're gonna also want the strength kind of high I mean you can customize it however you want and pretty much when you have it on the smallest size it only moves one point upwards and you end up with these really really spiky with really sharp edges these nice spikes here 
and obviously you can chain them together to create some sort of a wall sort of feel you can just leave them by themselves you can make them dual peaked so they're like sort of together at the bottom but they split apart at the top I don't know just a really cool idea something maybe to diversify your winter biome because everybody knows about you know making hills snowy hills and stuff like that you know that's that's been done but maybe you know try to be creative when making your maps and create something you know that's original so instead of just these hills here you know maybe have some ice spike areas and of course guys as you're um, watching this video coming up with the ideas yourself maybe getting some tips about how to do it in the first place please just don't copy what I'm doing I mean obviously definitely use this ice spikes if you want to I'm probably not gonna use that in one of my maps but like try to be creative you know think what would you want to play in what would the environment want to be like and you know I didn't even cover what types of plants or what types of resources are gonna be found on these I mean you can do all sorts of stuff with that alone besides the, the physical nature of the land so anyway, hopefully you guys learned something from this. Please like the video if you enjoyed it or learned something. And please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.